Hi everyone, my name is Corey and I'm the Public Services Manager here at the Cedar Park Public Library. While the library is closed, I'm going to be posting some book discussion videos, uh, especially since we're missing out uh, on the second meeting of our March uh, book discussion group. Um, I just want to fill you in on the highlights from our first session, uh, give you a plot summary, uh, and then some of our observations uh, at the end. So our March book is The Moment of Truth by Damien McNichol. Uh, the story centers on a young woman uh, in 1950s. Uh, she's in art school. Uh, it's set in Texas, and uh, she wants to be a bullfighter so bad. Uh, she already speaks Spanish, lives near the border, has a history of um, her youth was spent on the ranch, so she's kind of already in that culture. Uh, something we learned from this book is the highly structured world of uh, bullfighting, uh, which was news to me. Um, I know there's kind of that art form aspect to it, uh, but there was a lot of uh, rules governing the roles of women uh, in bullfighting, uh, how the process of a bullfight is uh, supposed to proceed, and judges, um, and actual laws, depending on if something doesn't go right, um, someone could be arrested for not doing the bullfight right. Uh, and even the differences too between Spanish and Mexican bullfighting was a, a played a part in the book too. Um, I'll also let you know this book was based on a real uh, female bullfighter in the 50s. Uh, her name was Patricia McCormick and you can find out more about her. There's a brief biography of her uh, on Wikipedia to get you started in your uh, research journey about uh, the, that uh, woman. So our story opens with a very high action scene. Uh, the main character is attending a bullfight in Mexico with a friend, uh, but her plan all along has been to jump into the ring uh, and take on one of the bulls herself. Uh, and so the crowd gets all riled up uh, and she causes a ruckus, but uh, she's absolutely hooked from then on. Uh, she and her friend have to escape uh, pretty quickly and go through all the back streets uh, so that she doesn't get arrested. Uh, but she's absolutely hooked and wants to keep pursuing doing this um, as a career. Uh, there's some friends and her family don't really understand uh, at that time period why she wants a career, and especially this career. Uh, it's kind of unusual for a woman at that time period. Uh, so she's got a lot of self-doubt and wants to um, pursue her dreams, but she doesn't have a lot of support. Until one day, uh, a person who saw her at the bullfight uh, where she jumped into the ring uh, found her finally and offers to be her uh, sponsor and trainer to find a trainer for her. Uh, so she uh, ends up dropping out of art school and moving to Mexico to begin training uh, to be an apprentice bullfighter uh, with a, a, a more experienced um, bullfighter uh, to be her trainer there. So she finds that her trainer is willing to work with her, um, but her role in that new um, city and the the uh, for the bullfighting she finds out that there's some pretty uh, stricter narrower life experiences uh, that she doesn't really enjoy um, so there's some backlash from the tra traditional bullfighting community as well that she's kind of trying to work against and with whichever way um, she's trying to fight really hard uh, to do what she wants to do so amidst uh, a lot of self-doubt and some conflict uh, throughout the novel, uh, she does find, end up finding true but tragic love. Uh, she fights the perfect bull and uh, is able to start gaining control over her life and some of her choices uh, as she goes along. So is the book perfect? Honestly, uh, the book group um, met, that met earlier in March pretty much agreed uh, that it wasn't one of our favorite titles. Uh, we were really excited about uh, kind of d dipping into that world. It's an unusual um, topic, so we were all really excited about that. Uh, it just doesn't quite meet uh, that excitement, initial excitement. Um, it does cover the ethical issues and different perspectives uh, on bull the bullfighting world. Uh, it covers some gender conflict and some cultural roles uh, and like that. Um, we found as we went along, some of the events uh, weren't really necessary to move the plot along. Uh, we really wish we hadn't had to go through those. Uh, and that uh, the action for the main character and her growth really doesn't happen to the last few pages. So we kind of thought the pacing was a little bit uneven. 
One of the things uh, that's interesting to me, uh, this book uh, has in common with a lot of our recent selections, uh, the theme of communication. Uh, the main character chooses to not share some pretty significant information with her uh, the people that it would affect, uh, and it ends up hurting herself and the people that she's around. Uh, so I just want to encourage you uh, to uh, tell your loved ones that you love them, communicate with the people around you, um, share information about your life experiences and the burdens you're carrying. Uh, it's so important to communicate right now, uh, and you don't have to be cut off People can share your burdens they're wanting to because uh, we can all get through this together. Um, I think that communicating is uh, really important, especially now when we're physically separating from each other. That's one of the reasons that we wanted to start doing videos like these so we can still stay connected a little bit but still safe. Um, you can reach out to a neighbor by phone, uh, keep your family updated via Facebook, uh, and especially check uh, the library's social media and our website, YouTube, uh, to keep yourself occupied and informed. Until our next book club uh, video, uh, please take care and uh, reach out to the library if there are any questions we can answer for you. If you need help in any way, we're here to help, uh, and I hope to see everyone in person again really soon.